Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Atari 2600 games on your Xbox Series X or your Xbox Series S. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So I will mention for this video, you're going to need to already have both dev mode and RetroArch installed on your Xbox Series S or X. That's not something I'm going to be showing you in today's video. However, I'll be leaving a card on screen and the link in the description down below to a previous video where I show you step by step how to do all of those things. Then you can come back here and I'll be showing you specifically how to play 2600 games. From this point, thankfully, we don't actually need any BIOS files or anything like that for RetroArch. All you will need is an external drive and somewhere we can put our games onto. Now, I will also mention I'm not going to be showing you in today's video where to download or actually get games. A quick Google search will help you out if that's something you're interested in, or you can try creating an existing backup or copy of any games that you currently have. Again, I won't be showing you that in today's video. Once you have your games, if you've downloaded them like me, they will most likely come in a .zip file and we can actually play these games directly from a dot zip without any issues however i typically like to extract my games to extract them all we need to do is right click click extract all hit extract and then our game is going to extract and it will be extracted into a dot a26 file and this is the other file format we can also play our games on so you can either play them directly from a dot zip or from a dot a26 file whichever you prefer from this point, what we're going to be doing is taking our external hard drive with our games on it. We're going to be bringing them over to our Xbox and we're going to be continuing from there. So once you're over on your Xbox and you've plugged in your drive, if this is your first time plugging in your drive, you might get this pop up asking if you'd like to use it for Xbox game storage or media storage. It's really important here that you select media storage so we can add whatever files we want on here. Otherwise, if you select game storage, it will fully wipe your drive and only allow you to install Xbox games on this. So it's important that you make sure this is entered correctly. So once you're in RetroArch, you're going to be brought to your main menu right here. The first thing we're going to be doing is clicking on the load core option right here. And we're going to be scrolling down until we see Atari. And here we're going to be looking for your Atari 2600 core. In this case, it's going to be Stella here in brackets. Now, in this case, there is two options here, Stella 14 and just Stella. For today's video, I'm going to be using Stella. Although if you're having any issues, you can feel free to experiment with either of these. Select your core. From this point, we're going to be brought back to our main menu. We're going to be clicking down one more again. We're going to be clicking load content. And here we're going to have to locate to where our games are currently downloaded. So for any external drive you have connected to your Xbox, they will show up here in your E drive. And from this point, all you need to do is locate to where your games are. So I currently have my Pac-Man game here in a .a26 file. All we need to do is click A on this. Again, if you have multiple cores in your RetroArch that can play this file type, you'll have to select your core again. So again, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is selecting Stella here, the one we have selected here at the very top. And then just like that, our game is going to start to load up. It might take a couple of seconds and you'll be left with this black screen, but then your game will eventually load up. From this point, all the Atari 2600 games I have tried ran absolutely perfectly. This is, of course, a really old console and the Xbox will have no problem running it. However, what we're going to be doing from this point is taking a look at a couple of settings. From this point, you can click your combo selection to open up your settings. For me, it's down and select and here we will get all of our default retroarch settings however if we scroll down here to the options we'll get some core specific options for this emulator now again as mentioned by default i actually didn't have any issues with this at all however if you would like to come in here and play around with a couple things you can do it a couple of ones i would recommend taking a look at you can set up an aspect percent ratio for both the ntsc and pal games so this will scale your game a little bit to set up the different aspect ratios by default it's set to par however you can go in here and feel free to experiment with this a little bit if you want you can enable a crop horizontal over scan that can be useful but for the most part i'd recommend leaving all these things by default unless you really want to play around with something for me i didn't have any issues with the few games that i tested and it ran really really well for me the last thing i'd recommend doing is creating a game playlist you can see i have one right here i created previously for the super nintendo it's just going to concatenate all of your games into this nice list you can automatically attach a core to everything and even get the cartridge here on the left it's something i would definitely recommend i'm not going to be showing you that in today's video however i'll be leaving a card on screen and the link in the description down below to my previous video where you can watch that and you'll be able to create these it's definitely something i recommend and if you're doing a lot of multi-console work on RetroArch, it'll make your experience a lot better anyway guys it's as easy as that to play atari 2600 games on your xbox series s or your xbox series x if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace